In this problem, we have a principal of $9,000, an annual interest rate of 3%, compounding occurs twice a year. So use the formula for, comp for computing future value. That's actually our compound interest formula. Remember that the formula for annual compound interest where they only do it once a year is going to be A equals P times 1 plus R raised to the T. But if it's uh, compounding it at various times during the year, twice a year like this, it might be quarterly, monthly, weekly, daily, that that's the one where they call it computing future value instead of calling it compounding it multiple times a year. So the future value formula is essentially exactly the same with the exception that in order to get your interest rate set up so that it is the amount of interest that will be applied for that particular period, given that the interest rate is always going to be given as an annual interest rate, we have to take the interest rate and divide it by the number of times it's going to be compounded that year. And because the time is no longer simply the number of years, the exponent has to be the number of times it's going to be compounded. If it's going to be compounded twice a year for seven years, that is actually 14 times that interest is going to be added to this so T is still seven, but N in this problem is gonna be two for twice a year. So we have to divide the interest rate by two and then we have to multiply the exponent by two. So the, we're, we're finding the value of the account. So we're finding A so in this problem, A is going to be the principal was 9,000 times 1 plus the interest rate is 3%, which is 0 0.03, divided by 2, because when it's compounded, it's actually going to only apply 1.5% twice a year instead of 3% once a year. And then N times T is going to be 2 times 7. So to simplify this, we've got 9,000 times 1 plus 0 0.015 raised to the 14th, 9,000 times 1.015, just adding the 1 to that, raised to the 14th is going to be 9,000 Let me do this one step at a time. 1.015 raised to the 14th. Is going to be 1.231754. Let's see if I move it over two places, I gotta have one more should be plenty, and that will actually round, the next one's a five, seven, so that's gonna round to a six. And then I'm not actually gonna change what's in my calculator window, I'm just gonna hit times 9,000. That will do away with any kind of rounding error. So it's gonna be 11085. 
5.8 and that'll stay at a zero. So $11,085.80 $11, will be in the account at the end of seven years. <laughs>